Oh, the world of celebrities never fails to deliver. Stuff, and like they were suppressed, like, why don't you throw things? And I was like, ew, throwing yeah. things. But like, now I totally love it. I mean, watch this. Steve Harvey, the well-known TV host, seems to have found himself in a web of controversy and drama. Yeah, how the hell did Ruben get out here? Because <laughs> your boss gonna see this. Is that Evan? <laughs> Reports are swirling that his wife, Marjorie, might have strayed from the path of fidelity with not just one, but two intriguing figures, his bodyguard and personal chef. But wait, there's more to this tangled tale. Be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Oh boy. A good what? Sorry. What did you just say? The twist? The source divulging this scandalous information is closely linked to none other than Lori Harvey's ex, the heartthrob Michael B. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? And like, and deal with the, you look familiar, and are you the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just the kind of like. Definitely was going to get that with a number eight. What? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like a Hollywood soap opera come to life. And insiders claim that Michael always had a hunch that Steve's relationship advice might not be as genuine as it seemed. Is this the downfall of a relationship guru or the beginning of a new chapter full of suspense and surprises? Sit tight as we'll uncover this drama. I who claimed he was interested over some text messages, but he stood her up twice. Now, what she didn't know is that I flew John out here to explain what he really means in person. Social media is buzzing with recent reports that have sent shockwaves through the online world. It seems Marjorie Harvey's actions have thrown her into the spotlight, and it's not for the faint-hearted. The controversy and drama are palpable, as whispers of her involvement with not just one but two members of her household staff have surfaced. But hold on, the plot thickens. Multiple sources claim that Marjorie has her sights set on a jaw-dropping division of assets, a whopping half of everything that belongs to Steve. As rumors circulate and take over Twitter trends, the tale of Marjorie's alleged affair with Steve's bodyguard takes an unexpected twist. A divorce is on the horizon, and not just that. Marjorie is reportedly eyeing a staggering sum of $200 million. The intrigue doesn't stop there. Steve Harvey, renowned for his relationship and marriage advice, finds himself entangled in the very controversies he often addresses. I mean, sometimes it's just you, you got to get away, but you got to look you got to look for the bright side and everything. And mm -hmm. my bright side was her fans, as expected, have flooded the comments section with astonishment and disbelief at the rumored cheating scandal, rocking the foundation of the Harvey household. Amidst the chaos, hidden insights emerge. She can do good brownies. Yes, yeah, she, does. she does really, really good brownies. Winton can make good eggs. Jason makes good grits. And I think that's about it. Sources close to Michael B. Jordan claim that the actor had an inkling all along before seeing the inevitable downfall. But let's pause and ponder. What is the truth behind Marjorie Harvey's alleged affair with Steve's employees? Did Michael B. Jordan truly anticipate this shocking turn of events? As we dive into the depths of this convoluted narrative, suspense and curiosity beckon us to unveil the secrets that lie beneath the surface. The world watches with bated breath, craving to decipher the intricacies of Marjorie's actions and the enigmatic dynamics at play. What revelations await us as we unravel the layers of this unfolding saga? Michael B. Jordan, I was willing to take the L, you know what I'm saying? And like, and deal with the you look. Chad Science in Newark, okay? A corny kid, right? <laughs> no. In recent weeks, explosive reports have surfaced online. Could it be true? Allegations suggest Marjorie Harvey, Steve's wife of 16 years, might have strayed. Whispers point to a possible affair with his bodyguard, but there's more. Claims of involvement with Steve's personal chef also emerge. The part that's hurtful in here is my wife and children have to be drugged into this. Uh, you know, if, if you're going to be vindictive, then go ahead and just aim it at me, but my son is coming in the room crying. Marjorie's silence fuels the speculation. With smoke, there's fire, they say. Skepticism rises around Marjorie's past actions, magnified by these accusations. An unexpected angle emerges as Michael B. Jordan, once connected to Lori Harvey, expresses doubts about Steve and Marjorie's marital facade. Were their relationship tips mere facade? 
The plot thickens with a revelation. Marjorie possibly coached Lori in a calculated dating approach. Don't give yourself to anybody that is not going to be your husband. A stark contrast to her present lavish life. But her past remains intriguing. Back in 1990, Marjorie and Steve met. Was it love at first sight? Marjorie. So he's just quiet. He just keeps staring at me, so I'm waiting on him to make me a part of the show so we can get on with the show. So he stayed quiet so long, staring at me now, everybody in the club was looking at me. And so he finally realized, okay, I've got to say something. He was like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know who this is, but I'm going to marry her. He stopped the show, and he just kept staring at me. So now it's kind of awkward, because it's a little bitty comedy club. Hey, hey, what? wasn't that little? An instant connection sparked between Steve and Marjorie, leading to a swift start to their dating journey. Yet their initial romance flickered out quickly, pushing them onto separate paths. Steve hinted that Marjorie's departure resulted from his less than stellar financial state at the time. Destiny, however, had more in store. In 2005, their trajectories crossed once again. This time, Steve basked in the glory of his hit show, The Steve Harvey Show. Together. Steve Harvey, weekdays this fall. Marjorie, too, chose to rekindle their flame. Amid the backdrop of success, an intriguing complication arose. Steve's past held a previous marriage to Mary Shackelford. The plot thickened when Mary claimed that Steve had strayed with Marjorie while still married to her. When I think about how quickly he moved forward from me to Marjorie. Mary, when I think about how quickly he moved forward from me to Marjorie, that was disturbing. In a troubling narrative, Steve's actions took a dark turn as he intervened in his son Winton's life, stemming from his previous marriage with Mary. You are Harvey. You are my son. You've been a great example and showed me. Accusations arose that Steve manipulated legal proceedings, leaving Mary with nothing. The words, he took my Winton from me, echoed Mary's devastation, claiming Steve turned their son against her and left her in financial ruin. Amidst the shadows, a speculative light emerged. Could it be Marjorie, not Steve, who orchestrated this manipulation? Rumors swirled that Marjorie played a hand in convincing Steve to sever ties with his ex-wife. Allegedly, Marjorie even guided Steve to paint Mary as unstable in the media, while he further gaslighted her, branding her vindictive and harmful to their son. Steve's poignant words cut through the heart. My son is coming in the room crying. The personal toll of their actions comes into focus as their family struggles surface. School, I'm in school, so when we can all come together and do some fun activities or just, you know, sit down and talk to each other, it's a good time. Despite Steve and Marjorie's efforts to reshape the narrative, public sentiments aligned with Mary. Winter needed to be on a flight to his father. And uh, I was just really stunned. Casting Marjorie in a less favorable light among Hollywood circles. Recent events unearth old wounds. Mary, resilient in her claims, accuses Marjorie of a calculated manipulation, aiming to disrupt her relationship with Winton. In this intricate web of relationships, questions multiply. What drives Marjorie's actions? What adds to the gravity of this situation is the revelation that Marjorie's questionable actions extend back before her transformation into Mrs. Harvey. Marjorie's history holds several marriages, predating her time with Steve. Her first marriage entwined her with Jim Townsend, a figure linked to the drug trade. Really because of Steve Harvey. But for Steve Harvey made a link, somebody sent, I told you they sent me a link. Sent you a link. And in that link, we never did finish that. In that link, he was saying. Together, they share two children, Morgan and Jason. Interestingly, Steve later adopted them in the 90s. Dark clouds loomed over Marjorie and Jim as they faced investigations from the FBI and DEA. In a chilling turn of events, Marjorie earned the moniker Lady Heroin. It was a situation rife with complications. Allegedly, authorities conveyed to Jim that cooperation would save Marjorie from arrest due to substantial evidence of her own illicit activities. Jim's cooperation led to a life sentence. He served 26 years before President Obama's pardon in 2017. I can't do that. In contrast, Marjorie seemingly escaped charges, proceeding to divorce Jim while he was incarcerated. Marjorie wasted no time. 
As she soon parted ways with Jim, she wed Darnell Woods, Jim's cousin and a drug dealer. Their marriage resulted in a child, Lori, later adopted by Steve. The timeline muddles as Marjorie and Steve claim to have crossed paths in the late 90s, dated briefly, and reconnected in 2005. This prompts speculation that both Steve and Marjorie were possibly involved with each other while still committed to their partners. The narrative takes another twist as Marjorie became aware of Steve's rising Hollywood success. And so we were trying to get an understanding how long the uh, party was going to last. Um, I think the first time was it was going to end at about 11 p.m. I think it started at 6. Swiftly, she severed ties with Darnell, who faced arrests linked to drug-related activities. In 2007, Steve and Marjorie wed, with Steve adopting her three children. Following their union, Steve began dispensing relationship advice, culminating in his 2009 bestseller, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. The book advocates an old protect and provide narrative, advising women to play dumb to appease men's egos. Stop ignoring the red flags in your relationship and thinking you can change a man. Ironically, recent reports reveal a different story. As Steve dished out advice to women, Marjorie allegedly engaged in an affair with staff members. The tables turned as fans reveled in the irony, while sources close to Michael B. Jordan expressed his past reservations about Marjorie's character. The web thickens as Marjorie's involvement in MBJ and Lori's relationship surfaces. Rumors suggest Marjorie's aversion to a prenup was a factor in her reluctance to embrace Michael B. Jordan as Lori's partner. Fans now see a twist of fate as they joke about Steve's fall from grace. His career built on relationship counsel seems at odd with his own experiences. Don't collect red flags. You can have a wagon full of them. You only need one. The pedestal he placed Marjorie on now crumbles as the layers of their relationship unfold. One fan summed it up like this. Imagine what Steve Harvey's going through now. That's what Lori served to Michael B. Jordan, just with a different twist. Another fan weighed in, recalling, didn't Steve Harvey cheat on his first wife with her? Then he married her after she left him when he had little. He pushed his kids away to focus on her and gave us relationship advice from a high horse of hypocrisy. LOL, maybe he's getting what he dished out. Do you feel sorry for Steve if Marjorie did cheat on him? And do you think Michael B. Jordan made a lucky escape from the Harvey family? Share your thoughts below, and before you go, don't miss our next video.